pass with regard to military power because he thought, well, uh, perhaps Macron and Schultz are actually going to sober up. They're going to take the lead and we'll put an end to this conflict. Again, he was disappointed. Uh, well, first of all, as far as the nuclear issue is concerned, setting aside the very high probability that Mr. Zelensky is mentally unbalanced or worse, uh, he's mentioned these things in the past. He actually talked about preemptive nuclear strikes uh, before uh, the Russians uh, intervened on the 24th of February. It's one of the reasons that Putin felt obligated to make it clear what Russia would do in the event that a nuclear weapon was used against it. Because the Russians have made it abundantly clear that they regard nuclear weapons as purely retaliatory. That is to say, unless someone attacks them with a nuclear weapon, they have no intention of using them, and they don't need them. Uh, the second point is uh, this nonsense about Russia is losing, the world is uh, ending, and hundreds of miles are being retaken. It's all nonsense, and it's tragic because it's gotten to the point uh, beyond absurdity. Today, uh, the Ukrainians tried to circulate a video in which they showed allegedly Russian troops surrendering to them. In reality, it was staged. that Everyone was Ukrainian, and they simply gave the other side Russian flags and tried to create that illusion. The truth is that Mr. Zelensky's remarks made to a, an audience in Australia are unambiguous uh, evidence for Ukraine's impending destruction. Ukraine is being bled white. They've had at least 100,000 dead now, uh, perhaps two, 300,000 wounded at least. Uh, these little counterattacks that they have been launching that have gained a few miles here or there have cost them tens of thousands of lives. And uh, the gains are superficial, to be, to, to be frank, uh, meaningless, and in fact, many of these have already been reversed. But I think the Western news media, along with the governments in the United States and the United Kingdom in particular, are working overtime to try and create this image of a Ukraine fighting back that is simply misleading. And in the meantime, the Russians, who never used more than 